All right, we got a uh, lot to talk about with the Raw show. Also, also, a couple more things on the AEW show. Um, no theaters, um, which is interesting. Um, so, so there will be movie theaters coverage for All Out, but not for All In, which may have to do with uh, maybe the theaters didn't want two straight shows and probably preferred, obviously, you know, if you're movie theaters, you're going to want, you know, the the show that starts at... 7 p.m. Eastern, as you know, even though it's still afternoon on the West Coast, as opposed to the show that starts at noon Eastern. So um, it's going to be really interesting because obviously the um, the London show is a much bigger show than the Chicago show, um, but the Chicago show is in the traditional time slot, but it's also a week after a show, which is way too soon to do a turnaround in theory. Um, but this show is uh, an early show. We'll see. We'll see how it does. Um, you know, I mean, the reality is, is that, you know, between the gate and merch, you know, I don't know how much merch they're bringing, but it's the first time they've ever been to Europe. And I've got to think, and I think this is a conservative number when I say 30 bucks a head, because um, number one, it's the UK and, 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 um, you know, um, and WWE has done much higher than that. And they've been, you know, in the market many, many times. So it's not like people buying their first live merchandise. I mean, really, they should do 40 bucks a head, but conservatively, I'm going to say 30 a head, which, you know, that's 2.4 million right there. We know the gate's going to be probably, you know, nine and a half million. So, you know, you're talking about, we're talking $12 million from that show. Um, which is a lot more than they get on pay per view. I mean, usually the pay per view is the the pay per view is the bulk of the revenue on these pay per view shows by far. In this case, it's the live event, you know, because a big pay per view um, for them, you know, maybe they'll get three million dollars, you know, because of all the splits and everything. Um, but this one, you know, I mean, you know, even if they don't draw one dime on pay per view, I mean, their minimum. You know, conserv- I'm, I'm estimating conservative at 11.9 million for this show. So, um, you know, it's four times what they would get for a good pay per view. Uh, well, I mean, they, 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 there's also other money, um, you know, for the live gate and everything. They can do million dollar live gates and everything like that. So, essentially, it's it's um, triple, not not, um, yeah, triple, not uh, quadruple, but still. You know, so it's it's even if like if the pay per view number turns out low, don't cry for him because uh, the revenue is very 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 high on it's 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 by far the most revenue that they will ever have done for a one day show. Um, so you know that's that's the deal. Well, on the subject of that, and also Raw, of course they had the announcement on Raw that WrestleMania tickets went on sale, and they sold ninety thousand tickets. Nine, they're at ninety two now. 92,000 tickets so for it's the 46, two days. 46, 46 for each show, which is, you know, it's a, it's a great open. I mean, the thing to me isn't so much the tickets, but it's a ticket price. The average ticket price is 240 bucks, and most people are going to both shows. So that's 480 bucks right there. If they're going alone, if you're going with, let's say you bring one person with you, now we're talking 960 bucks, okay? And the average merchandise that's going to be purchased is probably going to be again like 30 bucks uh per person um per show so you know i think the average person is probably going to do like 60 bucks in merchandise so we're talking um 540 dollars a person not to mention parking hotels and all that stuff that that shouldn't matter you know i mean that's whatever but they charged um I mean, this will be the highest average ticket price for any pro wrestling show in history. And, um, you know, I mean, they sold 46000 for each show, for each night, immediately. You know, I think that they could, they'll probably end up with sixty-seven. So they still got uh, 22 to go. But they'll get there. I mean, it's, it's almost a year away, and it's WrestleMania. I mean, there's, you know, WrestleMania is... is you know, it, I mean, a WrestleMania in Philadelphia will will sell out. I mean, two days of WrestleMania is it going to sell out? AT and T Stadium, no, it didn't come close. L A, it did, it did pretty much 
sell out, but they didn't. They could have opened up more, which they didn't. Um, but this one, I, I think, in the in, in the size of field that they're in, they'll they'll sell out out. You know, when it comes to, to game time. Well, the Raw show was a uh, celebration of everybody that uh, it was a fan favorite in Quebec. That was basically the main event of the show. It opened up with Sammy coming out. And uh, he just soaked in the ovation for about five minutes, and Judgment Obviously Day. Obviously, he was he was told to do it because he got about one word, and Judgment Day was out. So it was like, you know, he he wouldn't, uh, you know what I mean? If like if he had something to say, well, of course. I mean, they were they were waiting for the people to stop cheering to hit that music because yeah. they came out, and then Sammy took the mic and he said, "Hey, if you're gonna you know come out here, I got one question for you. Did you think I would come here of all places alone?" And so Kevin Owens, who is healed from his cracked rib, he returned. The place went crazy, and they cleared the ring. And then Kevin said, it's been too long since I've had a match on Raw tonight. Kevin and Sammy versus any two of the Judgment Day. Now, okay, they announced at the beginning of the show that it is Kevin and Sammy versus any two of the Judgment Day. And never brought up the championship. They they do a whole show long story about which two is it going to be, which two is it going to be, which two is it going to be, and so finally three hours later they come out for the main event. It ends up being Finn and Priest versus Sammy and Kevin. Okay, and they go about two minutes. They go two minutes. JD McDonough runs down. We have the top feud of 2023, which is Finn Balor versus the Briefcase. JD throws the briefcase to Finn, but Kevin grabs it in midair. He hits Finn Balor with the briefcase. The referee calls for the disqualification. Hideous finish. But there's a brawl it afterwards. To, it, was there, it was there to set up the... the there's real. a brawl afterwards. And uh, they're all beaten down, everybody. And then the crowd starts chanting for Cody because he'd shown up in a promo earlier. And so Cody comes down. And so we get what is our actual main event, which is Cody Rhodes, Kevin, and Sammy... Versus Finn Balor, Dom, and Damian Priest, okay? Which, which doesn't it feel like that's always the main event? Well, the bigger thing to me yeah, I is... I mean, it hasn't been in a couple of weeks because because Owens has been hurt. The bigger just, thing to me, Dave, is that is a far bigger match in terms of star power than just Finn and Priest versus Kevin and Sammy. You've yeah, added you, Cody but, Rhodes to it and... Yeah, but you... I mean, it's real obvious why they did it. Why is that? Because they wanted a show long storyline of Finn Balor and Damian Priest not getting along and not wanting not being able to figure out who the two people were. Well, and sure, that was the they, excuse. they did that, but I mean, we've been watching that that storyline for weeks and weeks now. Yeah, but the, twi- the and twist. And I feel was- like announcing at the beginning of the show that you're going to have a big six man would have potentially been more effective than just announcing a tag match that you did a two minute DQ in. To then just do that six man anyway. But then you'd throw out the whole storyline of the show. That's what the whole show was built well, on. You would. The whole show was built on them not know them arguing over who the partner's going to be. I am because well neither aware of them that. Wanted, neither of them wanted a team with each other. If it was just a six man, you don't have that. You, know, you can do. You could do an argument in another way, but you don't have that argument. And that was the argument that they decided. Well, on. that is. But I mean, to me, I'm not sure if the argument about who is going to be the second person in a tag match is really that great a three hour hook. When you could just announce we well, got a not, six man not, with Cody not, and these guys, it's not a hook for the show. It's a hook for the long term angle. Well, I the long term angle. But we've is, been doing is, this angle for weeks. It's like we don't have yeah. to do it on every single show. I think that they feel that they have to keep. That's that's just like with the blood the, the bloodline feud. Well, you know, ironically, always, they weren't even on the show on Friday. The show did fine. Yeah, yeah. So well, that's proof you don't need to do it every single show. You're going to use that? Okay, number one. Edge can't, like, they can't go on social media and tell and pretty much tell you all week that Edge isn't going to have his retirement match. I mean, that was, you know, uh, it was very obvious when all was said and done. Ron Hutchison didn't do that. Like, Ron Hutchison was obviously, being that Edge pointed out, he was obviously told, go out there and put this out there so it'll look like it came from not us. So when when he doesn't retire, um you know, it doesn't look like we told you he's retiring, but we lied. Instead, it's just like, let's get everyone talking about that this might be his retirement and um, do that for, you know, a rating, you know, for the ratings. And, you know, then he says, well, I haven't made up my mind and everything, which is, you know, so it's actually very clever. But 
you know, it's like it's not like Edge's retirement is something that they could do. Like, of course, you could do the same rating with Edge's retirement and 25th celebration without Roman Reigns. But if you didn't have Edge's retirement thing, I mean, this, the rating would have been significantly lower. Well, I guess we'll find out. Perhaps it would be. I mean, that show's been doing really well. Show's been doing very well. Hey, if you love this clip, have I got a deal for you? WrestlingObserver.com. Do you have a commute? Do you work out at the gym? Do you like listening to audio on your headphones or your earbuds or whatever the kids use today? Well, WrestlingObserver.com will give you all the audio you'll ever need in your life. Over 15,000 audio shows. Every audio show that we have ever done, dating back to 2005, is available for subscribers at WrestlingObserver.com. Every time a new show comes out, you can podcast it directly to your phone. If you have a commute, as noted, if you go to the gym, if you like to lift weights and listen to Granny review soap operas, well, WrestlingObserver.com gets you full access to all of these shows and all of these archives. You can go back and listen to TNA reviews from 2010. You can go back and listen to reviews of every WWE pay-per-view, every big story that's ever happened in wrestling. You can get access to that at WrestlingObserver.com. Plus, full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter every week. 40,000 words of news and information in pro wrestling. Why get all your scoops off Reddit, which aren't even accurate most of the time? Go right to the source, the Wrestling Observer newsletter. You also get Observer archives dating back to 1990. So check it out today. Thousands of issues of the Wrestling Observer newsletter. Tens of thousands of hours of audio. All for $12.99 per month or as low as $9.99 if you sign up for a year. You'll never, you'll never run out of audio if you subscribe to WrestlingObserver.com. So head up there, check it out today, and I'll talk to you again after a while.